All right, campers out on the trail. All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some coffee in this little uh, um, gas stove I have here. It's a Sterno. Um, how, well, um, anyway, so we're gonna be making coffee, that's right. Um, so, step one, we'll be using the uh, Sterno stove, which we put on here, which we can't really figure out if you're gonna find that I'm fairly expert at this. This is not something that comes easy to a lot of people, but if you just follow along and pay mindful attention, you will find that making coffee by the campfire is something you too can do. So, step one, Anyway, well, that looks like just smaller cans of that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? And this, uh... it sure looks like the same thing. I don't know. So we're gonna prepare our stove. One, step one. After we screwed it on, we screwed screwed, screwed it on. Then we prepare the edges by unfolding, unfolding, unfolding. So it's a back and forth motion. Unfold, fold, back and forth. Gentle. Everything about camping, when you're doing camping expeditions in the rugged, like extreme camping like what we're doing here, no matter what the temperature, the climate, I mean, it's about 65, a little drizzle. I mean, this is pretty rugged here. Well, we're, it's kind of like in someone's yard. But um, anyway, uh, normally, like, if you're alpine camping or in the, the Adirondack foothills of... I don't know, Venezuela could be. But the thing about it is, if you got up there and you got altitude sickness, like you wouldn't be as mindless about the folding. You'd have to be real gentle with up there, especially like if you were dizzy and, you know, you'd be cold. So you'd say, hey, let's make some coffee. And that's what you would do. I'm gonna probably, for safety's sake, do it outside the tent. Um, the, we we're gonna brew it up in here, but we realized we're sitting in a big, uh... right now, um, we're gonna set that bad boy up right out there, just like so. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh. A little drizzle. Right now, we're gonna fill our tent, our, our can. We have this nice can. This is a uh, can lid combo. Nice for camping, bike camping is what we're doing this time, so it's nice, this fits right on there. If you were um, a heavy drinker, you could put a lot of liquor in there and shake it up. So you can do lots of different things with this. It's so helpful. Um, we're gonna make coffee with it right now, you know what I mean? So, um, step one, we've never made coffee like this before, so we uh, are gonna try a new technique. We need to put that in there, then we're gonna have to get the, we're gonna do a nice scooping technique. We you probably got to remember the scoop technique from the bird feeder demo. Um, similar. This will be similar. Similar technique. Now, you need to be... One. Two. Three. This is going to be delicious. Take our camel back unzip there's a technique to this too now notice when you're unzipping a camel back you don't want to pull too hard you don't know you're out in the rugged like this all kinds of bad things you tear a piece of velcro in a situation like this you weren't going to find velcro like growing out here in the wild you could be out of that piece of velcro the entire ride you don't know so again Slow and easy. Nice, nice, gentle strokes we're doing today. Gentle. All right. Open. <laughs> unscrew. I can't see. All right. We're going to unscrew the water. 
and pour it ever so gently into the vessel. I do love a nice cup of chava, chava um, out on the trail. And this is where the camel back in, it comes in so handy. I mean, this is a cheap knockoff here. I don't know what the name of this damn one is. So, um, anyway, nothing like quality out on the trail. It's important. I mean, again, like here, I'm twisting the lid on, it goes right on. It's, it's that simple. And it's probably not so much the quality of the equipment, is it, it could be that I'm just a really good twister. You know, it could be that too. But either way, you want to practice your twisting technique for a trail ride like such. Um, in and out, in and out, round, round, nice twisting turns. There, now, minimize everything you do. It's always about gentle strokes for different folks. All right, now, important. I'll set this outside the tent in case. Um, well, I don't I'll set this out here and turn this on. Hopefully, things will go all right. Hard to say with these things. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to turn it on. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Set this on here nice like so and boil this up nicely. Nice boiling pot. I'm in a nice clean ass. Now, once we get a flame going, a boiling pot, we will install the coffee. Oops. Always preparation. That's the thing, you know, it's key. You're sitting in a tent like this. And most times you'd be like, oh, this sucks, da da da, but not this time. We open that bag, we fill the tent with a pleasant aroma of coffee, and everyone's in a better mood. Happens every time. All right, now. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. We're gonna prepare the bear spray because we are indeed cooking inside the tent now, which we were not gonna. I'm not really afraid of the bears. to leave a mark. I should have known better than that. Enjoy hey, the video. Go. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I've burned my finger a little bit, so we're gonna call it a night here. I'm gonna install the coffee into the boiling pot, and uh, Grace and I are gonna sit back and enjoy a nice cup of java. It's something you guys should always have available to your trail side. You don't know what can happen. Like you could be drinking coffee in a tent. Things could be going on outside, birds, different things. And then it reminds you of finish filling the bird feeder or something. Like you just don't know. We kind of taste and familiarities this type of thing can lead to. You just it's the beauty of it, you know, it's camping by the trail, on a bike, in a giant tent, or a big nice tent. It's nice to take as much gear as you possibly can bring, um, so that you are comfy cozy like we are here. Anyway, adios amigos.